Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and a very warm welcome to you all to Travel Blog Jamie. And indeed, a very warm welcome to you all to the beautiful Cunard Queen Mary 2. That 2 is very important. Amongst a plethora of vlogs about this, my transatlantic voyage from Southampton, UK to New York City, USA, is this my tour and review of a standard inside cabin slash stateroom. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. Alrighty, let's talk location. Now, my cabin is located mid aft. Now, there are four, yes, four um, sets of staircases and elevators here on Queen Mary 2. This is the third from the front. So, mid aft, and it's referred to as section C. So, elevators here, staircase here, and we're heading in this direction towards the aft. On Queen Mary 2, cabin 6217 is located on deck six, which is considered a low deck. The location of this cabin benefits from easy access to the aft pool and splash pool, as well as kids clubs on the port side. It's also within easy reach of two sets of staircases and elevators. Directly above is the grills lounge. Personally, I didn't hear any noise from above, but then it wasn't very well used during my voyage. Directly below on deck five, we have passenger cabins, and I didn't hear any noise from these. So as we come down this corridor, heading towards the aft, I'm looking for 6217, which will be on the right-hand side here. Lo and behold, very easy route. And we pop our cruise card in here. And come on in, folks. Welcome to my standard inside slash interior cabin slash stateroom. My goodness, there's a lot of slashing going on in there. I always like to give you a sense of space. So here I am tucked in the corner. No one puts Jamie in the corner. And looking ahead at the cabin. Not bad width here, actually. First thing you'll notice as you come in, uh, there is a switch here which will illuminate or the main lights in your cabin. We are gonna check out the bedroom area first, storage and bathroom a little bit later. If you've been following my adventures for some time, you'll know increasingly so I have been frequenting inside cabins since vlogging more frequently and traveling solo more frequently as well. And I have to say, I'm very impressed with this space and look and feel of an inside cabin. I am definitely pleasantly surprised. Now then, one of the first things you'll have to decide if you book this cabin is whether to have the bed configured as a double, in which case the bedside units are either side of the bed, or two singles, a twin, in which case they'll be against the walls with the bedside units and lamps in the middle. The decision is yours. I mean, if you're traveling with a loved one and you'd like a little bit of space between you, well, go for the twin. The gap of doom in the middle will work for you brilliantly. Gap of doom all the way. Now then folks, I had the best night's sleep on this bed last night. Not just because of the quiet location, not just because in an inside cabin, it's so, so dark. There's no sort of light interference, not just because the AC unit works brilliantly, but the mattress is super comfy. I'd say kind of like a medium firmness here. Awesome. Oh, and these pillows, they just totally envelop your little head as well. Gorgeous. And bedside units. Well, we've got shelf, drawer, another shelf down here, both sides of the bed, and easy access to electricity and lighting, which of course is super convenient. This is very interesting indeed to me. Uh, I know some of you will be like, what a geek he is. You don't often get this level of storage space directly above your bed in an inside cabin. So this has definitely been designed with storage space and long voyages in mind. I love that. Uh, we've got a kind of splash of color on the walls. I'm not sure what that is actually. Anybody know what that's supposed to represent? Um, and let's have a look from this angle. It's not bad really, is it folks? I wanted to show you how much space there is to walk either side of the bed. So if you feel like this is a little bit cramped for you, it may well be a good idea to configure the bed as two singles. You'll have a much bigger space running down the middle as a result. And everyone wants to know this. Will your luggage fit under the bed? Yes, it will. Bob is definitely your uncle Petunia, your auntie. Oh, a close up of the wall art. 
What does it mean? What is it? Does anybody know? Alrighty, very pleased to have a chair and table here. The table is maneuverable in height, by the way. Down it goes, gently. Up it comes, gently. It might not necessarily look very big, but let me tell you, it was big enough to fit a humongous tray on this morning with my breakfast that I had delivered. I'll show you uh, in cabin room service a little bit later. Okay, let's have a look over here. So this vanity area slash workstation, it's quite a dinky one. Um, we have socketry going on here, so two UK sockets and two US sockets. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but there are no sockets outlets either side of the bed. So you're gonna to have to charge your devices over here at the vanity area. Um, maybe when Queen Mary 2 has a refit, I think 2026, maybe if anyone from Cunard is listening, you could install some USB sockets at least either side of the bed. That would be mucho apreciado. Okay, down here we have just a small drawer. Uh, we've got our telephone. There's a small shelf here. Now, I brought my own reed diffuser. Can you smell that? It smells like the Maldives, doesn't it, if you've ever been? It absolutely does. Um, no, it's not included with the cabin. I just like coming back to my cabin um, to a beautiful scent. Um, you'll also notice here uh, a couple bottles of water. One is still, one is sparkling. Um, these are not complimentary in uh, a standard inside cabin. You can buy a bottle for $4 or a pack of how many is that it's really hard to read five a pack of five for twenty dollars and the chair it does slide pretty much all the way underneath okay next to that we have uh oh my goodness if you've watched my channel before you know i can't show you a hairdryer without doing the obligatory hairdryer test wow this is plastic aroma isn't it right switch on here and ready setting number one Setting number two. <laughs> and number three. Is it just my imagination? Or does setting two and three sound exactly the same? Um, the second setting certainly has a good blow. Only one heat setting though. Let's hope and pray it's not so hot that I get scolded and have to be airlifted off this ship. Ready? Oh, actually, that's quite hot. Um, so it doesn't look much, does it, this little piece of plastic? But I think it packs a punch. If you've got a hairy bush, you're going to be absolutely fine. I really do feel I risk my life for you lot. Um, we've got another drawer here, and underneath that, lo and behold, my darlings, yes, a fridge with an automatic light. Now then, each cabin comes with half a bottle of bubbles, plus your glasses, wishful thinking, putting two there, it's just me. Um, each adult is also permitted to bring on board a bottle of wine or bubbly, not exceeding 750 mils. And yes, I've taken advantage of that. Fabulous. The television, not the largest actually for a cabin of this size, so it's fine. Uh, what I do like, however, is that there is a television guide, which is super handy. I don't really think there's a wide range of channels here, especially as this ship travels long, long distances. Maybe again in the refit, they could have something like movies on demand. That would be great. No need to get upset with me. It's not a criticism necessarily. It's just a recommendation. Oh, what was that? Who watches television on a cruise? This is a voyage. It's not a cruise. And I'm also of the mindset to let people do what they want on their voyage. As long as it's not going to impact on you negatively, let them be, okay? And that is my bedroom area. I must say, I am very happy with this. Very comfy indeed. I have some magnets with me. Somebody on board gave me this beautiful card. Look at these hamsters with glasses. And I tend to pin up um, the actual day's daily program as well for quick access. You can also access the daily program on the My Voyage non-app app, non-app non webpage. Okay, I think we should head to the bathroom. Uh, you'll notice there's another mirror here. It's not floor to ceiling length. It's not particularly wide. I would say this cabin could definitely do with more mirrors. Adds to the sense of space 
and light. You know it's true. I speak the truth. Uh, we have an AC unit here and you're damn right I put it down to as cool as cool can be. I like my conditions to be arctic. Right, welcome to my bathroom everybody. Let's do this. Is it the biggest bathroom I've had on a cruise ship slash cruise liner? No, it's not. Uh, is it the most luxurious? No, it's not actually. Um, is there a clingy curtain? Yes, there is. So this doesn't really scream five star to me. However, look at the size of this shower. You are gonna be able to get two and three quarters people in there, I promise you. And also, can I just point out, yes, maneuverable shower head, get down, do all your bits and bobs, odds and sods. This is powerful and hot, just like you. There's also a washing line. You can dry your knickers, your socks, your bras, whatever you want. I'm not judging you. I don't care. Do what you need with that. And a very small shelf here, actually, for your shampoos, conditioners, body wash, etc. But like I said, very good, powerful and hot shower. And this would be perfect for your um, one cheeks, two cheeks, rah, rah, rah. I don't get sucked in, no, no, no. Actually, you may scoff, but do not sit on the toilet and press that button. You could absolutely get sucked in a little bit like Augustus Gloop from the Willy Wonka films, you know? Down the pipes, tubes, etc. Never to be seen again. Covered in something brown. Oh my God, did I just say that aloud? I'm so sorry. Another thing that doesn't necessarily scream luxury is a plastic toilet brush. I am gonna forgive them. Now look, one great thing about this, I'm gonna sit down on the loo. Oh, don't worry, I'm not gonna do anything. You can see how much space there is for your legs, okay? I mean, you could even put them outside if you really wanted to. I think that's decent, don't you? Some of the newer cruise cabins, uh, the toilets seem to not be in the best of locations, you know, and your knees are a bit like this, aren't they, my darlings? You know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you? Good shelf space around the sink basin. A Couple more little shelves here to here. Oh, and my goodness me, yep. Pen Halligan products here. Uh, you've got bath, shower gel, hand, body lotion, and shampoo. So you could just pop these into the shower. All right, decent sized mirror, and high up here, look, you have your shaving point. Um, it does mean your bits and bobs are gonna be hanging and, and dangling, aren't they, really? So good luck with that, I'd say. Okay, time to go down on my knees. Oh, will I ever get up again? Now below our sink, uh, Again, great storage space. Two very large shelves here. And next to that, we have a bin as well. Very handy. I am also a big fan of hooks on the back of your doors to hang your towels or whatever else you want. So there you go. Uh, just one word of warning, mind the step. Mind the step. And there you have an inside cabin bathroom. What do you reckon? directly opposite the bathroom. We have storage space Arama. First up on the left-hand side, we have uh, a good size wardrobe, massive shelf up here, lots of hanging space, and also plenty of space down here for your bags. You could even put luggage there if you wanted to. The middle section, well, we have a double wardrobe. Again, lots of floor space, lots of hanging space. If you need more hangers, just ask your cabin stewardess or steward. Uh, you've got your life jackets up here. Again, another large shelf. And yep, I always bring my crease releaser. Just be careful to not get it on the floor. Otherwise you will slip over, break your neck, and that'll be the end of your voyage, my darlings. It really will. So, so far, good amount of storage space. And it's like a half wardrobe. So here we've got a number of shelves with our kettle and tea and coffee making facilities. We also have biscuits here. Now these will be replenished daily. I haven't eaten mine. Sable de Retz, crunchy coconut cookie. Um, I'm sure that will suit many of you. Um, this also comes, look, with Devondale uh, full cream pure milk, as well as the other UHT sachets here. I know some of you like to have a nose at the kind of teas on offer. Oh look, cranberry and raspberry, that's interesting, isn't it? Um, breakfast tea as well. You also have your full fat coffee and decaf. Lovely jubbly. All right, 
another shelf here. Uh, yes, that is my mask, ready for the masquerade evening. I can't wait. Yes, I have got Pringles. If you followed me before, you know what I'm gonna do with those, don't you? Mm -hmm. uh, there is an in-cabin safe here and another shelf up here. So, lots of storage. And underneath that, even more, look, we've got drawers here. Uh, this is also where you'll find a laundry bag and all the prices for uh, specialist cleaning and uh, pressing services. I'll show you that shortly. More drawers here. In fact, another three underneath the laundry drawer. I think it's bloody good for storage space. I really, really do. A quick peep at the specialist cleaning and pressing services and the costs. There are about six laundrettes on board as well, folks, that you can use yourself should you wish to. If you want it done for you, well, this is what it's gonna cost you. Now then, in stateroom dining is something that has been restricted and reduced on some cruise lines. Let's check out how it looks on Cunard. One of the first things to note about in stateroom dining is that most items are indeed complimentary. Options for brunch between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. I think that is such a good idea, I really do. You don't have to go to the Queen's room for afternoon tea. You don't have to go to the buffet. You can have it delivered to your stateroom. The day menu served from noon to 11 p.m. What you'll notice here is that some of the items come with a surcharge. For example, the 28 day aged Angus sirloin steak the artisan cheese plates, um, but on the whole, complimentary. We like that, don't we? Late night snacks are indeed offered in the King's Court Buffet. I know, I had some last night. Um, or why not get some delivered between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m.? Canapes and caviar? Oh yes, you can have that too. And look at this, a stateroom bar. Personalize your stateroom bar with our specially curated packages available any day, any time and delivered chilled to enjoy at your leisure. Just so you know, if you have any alcoholic beverages delivered to your cabin, it is requested that they are consumed in your cabin as well. I know, I keep going from cabin to stateroom. I'm just trying to please everyone and pleasing no one. They really have got us covered. Oh, Grey Goose, I love you so much, Grey Goose. Have a look at your beers, those soft drinks. We're gonna be okay, aren't we? We really are gonna be okay. Prices here are indeed quoted in dollars and a reminder that beverage purchases are subject to a 15% service charge. What about breakfast? I hear you cry. Don't you worry, folks. Your cabin steward or stewardess will deliver a breakfast menu to you during each evening's turndown service. You fill that in and pop it outside your cabin by, I think it was 1, maybe 2 a.m. And lo and behold, in the morning, it will arrive hopefully piping hot like mine this morning. Let's rewind. I love the fact that you can get a proper hot breakfast and hot drinks delivered in the morning without having to pay any extra. I am in love with this idea. I hope it's a good one. Hang this outside your stateroom on your doorknob by 1 a.m. I don't know why that made me giggle. And simply choose your time slot and indicate the number of portions required. Right, we've got all our juices, hot beverage, thank God. Oh, something special. Oh, okay, we're going to pay a little bit extra for those. Cereal bowls, the onboard bakery. Oh, some of this sounds great. Fresh fruit, yogurt. Well, you know me, my loves. I am so into my health. <gasps> Look, the hot breakfast items. Oh my god, and it says guess one, guess two. Could I be two people? I think I could. What the hell am I gonna have? What would you have? Don't let me down, Cunard. It's breakfast time. Alrighty, everything has arrived, so that's awesome. I've got two eggs over easy. A few beans, mushrooms, tomato, hash brown, whole meal toast, and thank God for this, life force. Thank you, Cunard gods and goddesses. I'm very happy in here, an awesome breakfast. I've got a feeling I'm gonna start most of my mornings like this. It's such a relaxed way to start a day at sea, it really is. And even if you just had, I don't know, a coffee or tea delivered and maybe a pastry, and then go out for your breakfast, 
it's just such a leisurely pace. You know what time it is now? It's 10 a.m. I haven't actually left my cabin yet. Okay, we continue towards the aft for about 20 seconds, and on the right-hand side is a laundrette. Self-service, open 7.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. Ooh, sexy machines. Oh my goodness, do not tamper with those wires. I repeat, do not tamper. And I love that these are provided for guests. The big question is, would you stay in a cabin like this? Me, I am really pleasantly surprised by the space in this cabin, the storage space in this cabin, the comfort levels, and there's just a nice few little luxuries that I'm really enjoying as well. The bathroom is on the smaller side, but with a very good sized shower. Clingy curtains, I personally can get over, I really can, but I do understand for some of you, it doesn't scream five-star luxury. I'm hearing you, I really am. I am a big fan of the location of this cabin. It is super quiet, but within easy reach of the stairwells and the elevators, not to mention the open decks on deck six at the aft from that great pool. Oh, it's heated so well, by the way. Plus one deck above to the King's Court buffet. I'm always hungry. <laughs> and just a couple decks below to some of the bars and lounges on board. What's not to like about that? If you'd like to check out the full Queen Mary 2 experience sailing from Southampton to New York, you're in luck. Just search Travel Blog Jamie Cunard Queen Mary 2 Transatlantic Voyage. The rest is history. Now then, I can completely understand why someone might be a little bit dubious or concerned about an inside cabin for a transatlantic voyage, especially with the unpredictable nature of the Atlantic. I know some of you would want natural light and the ability to see exactly what's happening outside. However, I saved a lot of money by going inside and Queen Mary 2 is such a stable ship even in stormy weather. I barely felt any movement of the ship throughout the six nights, never felt claustrophobic and I just had the best night's sleep. This was such an affordable way for me to do a solo transatlantic. I'll see you around soon, take care. Thanks as always for your support as we head towards 29,000 subscribers. It's crazy. Today's shout outs go to my tiers three, four and five patrons and you can become a patron by searching patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. Yes, you too could have your name in lights at the end of my vlogs. Okay, maybe not in lights, but definitely at the end of the vlogs. And if I may, I'd like to say a special thank you to my tier five patrons, Steph, Ryan, The Dudies, Coops and Mark, Melissa, Catherine, Tara, Cindy, Graham, and Elaine. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, we can follow each other on Facebook, Jamie W. Robbins, and X threads and Instagram at Travel Blog Jamie. And of course, right here, right now on YouTube. <laughs>